Hey guys, uh, Andrew Robinson here with uh, Peak Fitness um, here on behalf of Waterfront Park. I'm going to give you guys a 30 minute full body workout. Okay, so get your playlist ready because um, we're going to get started. I'm going to go over some of the things you're going to need for this workout. I'm trying to keep it very simple, very basic for all you guys at home. Stuff you may have around the home. There may be some bands, platform, a bench, a mat, basic essentials. Um, but we're going to try to do the best we can with what we have. So what we've got here. It's just a very simple stretch band. If you have a towel, most anything like that will work. But we're going to go over the warm up really quick. So it's all you'll need is a band or a towel. And all we're going to do is we're going to take the band around and forward. And we're going to do 10 of these. Okay. So that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. And again, that's just loosening up your shoulders, getting everything primed and ready for a workout. Okay. Next thing is called a good morning. Okay. And we're just basically, I'll, I'll get a side angle here. We're basically just hinging at the hips and then coming forward, squeezing those glutes at the top. We're going to do 10 of these as well. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Good. Very important that you warm up before you do any workout. No matter if it's at home, at the gym, in the park, wherever. Make sure you warm the body up and get ready for workout. So now we're going to do a regular squat. So we've got 10 overhead squats. Okay. That's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Good. So heart rate should be coming up slightly. Go again is just to get the body warmed up and ready to go. So we're going to do two rounds of that. That was one. Okay, so we're going to grab your strap again. 10 over back. Two rounds of these. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Little shoulder burns, fine. That's what we want. We're getting warmed up. So back to our good mornings. Feet shoulder width apart. Band is over your head. I don't want it here. I don't want it too far back. Over your head is the goal. Hinging at the hip. We're not bending our knees. We're just hinging at the hip. Ten of these. Good. Last one here, and then we're done with the warm up, okay? So now we have back to our overhead squats. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Heart rate up just a little bit. The workout really starts with the warm up, okay? It's a very important part of the workout. So now we're going to get into the bulk of the workout. So the go here was full body. Okay, so I'm gonna grab this whiteboard for you guys. Okay, and if you can see that, warm up, goblet squat. We're gonna do a three times 10 on the goblet squat. Single leg pistol, we'll do that no weight, down on the bench. Single arm curls for your biceps. Single arm tricep extensions for the back of your arm. Push-ups on the bench on your knees okay we'll go lateral band shuffle and then we'll finish with some core here okay so let's start with our goblet squat so for your goblet squat if you have a bag something like this that you can add some weight to i have a 20 pound dumbbell just because i have access to that that i've thrown in the bag to add weight okay you can use anything, laundry detergent, something that's got some weight to it. So for goblet squat, weight's going to be at your chest, okay? We're going to go three sets of 10 here. The important part is weight back on your heels, push your butt back, okay? Push your butt back. So here we go. We're going to go three sets of 10. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, 
10. Good. Take a breather. We got three sets of 10 there. So what I'm going to do here, just so you can see the side angle, I'm going to do these on the side here so you can see where my weight is on my heels, where my knees are, and where my chest is, okay? Take a breather. Take about 15 more seconds. And we're going to go 10 more. Again, the goal is whatever you have around the house for this, anything that's got a little weight, 5, 10, 15 pounds, something with some, some weight to it. All right, set two. Okay, so we're, I'm a little wider here because I'm trying to get in the angle. But the goal, watch my hips sitting back and watch my heels. Weight's in my heel, okay? Notice how my knees, I'm trying to keep them behind my toes. Good, 10 reps there. So take a little breather. Again, weights on my heels. I want to glue my heels to the ground. I don't want to come up on my toes. About 15 more seconds. And we're going to do one more set. Get your stuff ready for pistol squats. So all you really need, that's the next movement, is your bench. No weight, just the bench. All right, here we go. Last set. Weight on your chest this is the important part here. Ten more. And ten. Good. All right. So we're done with that for now. We will come back to that. Take a little breather. We're gonna move on to single leg pistol squat. Okay, another one that's important to stay in the heel when we're coming down. Again, if you can't get all the way to this platform, try to find you something that can raise up your height here. Whether that's a box, something you can sit on that's gonna raise you up. But the important part is keeping your weight in your heel. We're down and then driving up. So we're going to do 10 of those, each leg, three, seconds, three more seconds, and we're going to go. Time good here. Take your time. Catch your breath. Pistol squat. All right, here we go. Five seconds. All right, 10 reps on each leg. So weight to my heel. And down. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Take a breather. We're going to go on the other leg now. Okay. Ten more reps. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. All right, guys, good. So that's one set there with the pistol squat. So we're going into set number two. It's okay if your heart rate's coming up a little bit. That's the goal with these lower body movements. It should get your heart rate up pretty good, okay? So set two, 10 more here on each leg. Weight on your heels, other legs up, arms out in front to help you with balance here. All right, here we go. reps. I'm going to go to the other leg now. One, two, three, 
four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Good. Good job. Again, heart rate's up. Very isolated movement on that quad. Largest muscle you have, okay? So blood's pumping. Take a little breather. We're gonna do one more set of those. You guys are making good pace here. Take an added rest if you need it. You can pause, catch up when you need to. Whew. All right, probably another 15 seconds of rest. And then we're gonna row. Deep breath, slow your breathing. All right, here we go, five seconds. Three, two, one. Nine, ten, good. Little breather here. Ten more. Last set, last side. Ten seconds, we're rolling. Three, two, one. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. So we're gonna take about a 30 second break. We're gonna move on to single arm curl, okay? Back to our bag. We're gonna need our bag for this one. We're gonna do this seated. About 15 more seconds. The key here, keeping our arm still. You can press it up against your leg. We don't want the arm moving all over the place. All the way down, all the way up. Just like that, okay? Five seconds and we're rolling. 10 each arm. Ready? Just 10. 10 seconds, we're on the other arm. Five, four, three, two, one. Ten reps there. Take a breather. Again, three sets of everything today. You guys are doing great. Keep it up. The goal in these times is just to stay moving. Keep your body in motion. If you're here, you're doing a great job. All right, set two. Ten more. Good. Other arm. We're going in 10. All right, ready? Go. Good, one more set of these, then we're moving on to extensions. This movement is bicep curl. We're isolating the bicep, okay? 
The next one, we're gonna isolate the back of the arm, the tricep. So let's finish here, burning up that bicep. One more set of 10 each. Here we go. Good, 10 seconds. Typically 10 seconds is a good rest on one of the minor muscle groups. But if you need longer, if you need 30, if you need a minute, wherever you're at in your conditioning, your muscular conditioning, take your rest. Here we go. Good guys, we're done with those. So for this, we're not gonna need as much weight on your, inside your bag. So I'm gonna grab the 20 out. Very isolated movement here. So if you have a five, if you have a two and a half, something in that range is what we're looking, like, looking at for this movement, okay? So we'll grab that bag. We're gonna use our bench to lean over. Elbows up tight, you want that that angle there where you're not too low, but you're not too high. You're right here, okay? All we're gonna do is three sets of 10 each side. We're extending that arm, squeezing that tricep, back down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very nice. All right, guys, we're going to switch sides here. So we're on the left arm now, okay? The key here is to make sure we're not bringing our arm down and up as we're coming out and coming back, okay? We don't want to shift our arm down. Keep that arm up. So we'll say that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good got three sets here so that's one set down set number two here switching arms here we go set two two three four five six seven eight nine ten good back to the left arm Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Again, can, canned beans, canned anything, just a little bit of weight. Don't need a lot of weight for this one. Last set here. The most important part is keeping that arm still and that elbow in the exact same spot for the entire movement. I'll say that six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. You guys are doing great. Last one. set three, right? <laughs> Last set. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Got a good burn there in that tricep. All right, let's move on. We've got two more movements. Got a lateral band shuffle. So you will need a resistance band for this one. Okay? A lot of you guys at this point probably have one of these. Lateral band shuffle. So we're gonna start, that's why I've got the cones here set up. I'm gonna go ahead and get set up in this. You want this around your ankles. Okay, around the ankles. This is gonna be your starting stance here, shoulder width apart. We're gonna extend out. We're gonna come back shoulder width. We never come in tight. You never want those legs in tight. 
All right, what we're gonna do, down and back four times, cone to cone. Butt down a little bit slightly, we're extended, back to shoulder width. Boom, back. Good, should feel a good burn in your quads, a little bit in the glutes as well. That's one, we got four of these. Here we go, we're rolling on these. Good, little rest, back into it. Good, that's two. We've got two more. Down and back is one. Here we go. Oh yeah, there's that burn, it's coming in now. Good, that's three. Last one here, let's keep that burn in the, let's not give it break here. Here we go. Good, last one, last one, going down. Good, good job guys. Last thing we've got here, we take that band off. We're gonna get our mat out. We're gonna finish with a little core here. Should have a little sweat going here. All right, all we're gonna do, flutter kicks with a side plank hip lift. I'm gonna demonstrate both for you real quick. Hopefully my mic works for me here. So I get down. So flutter kicks, about six inches, back and forth. Okay, we're gonna go 30 seconds on that. So we'll get that timer set up for 30 seconds. If you hit that start and minute hand together at the same time, and then second all the way to 30. You just keep hitting that, that S on the far right. Side plank hip lift is gonna be 10 each side, okay? Up, down, up, down. Keeping our chest back. When we come up, we don't wanna be this way. We wanna be up, down, and up, okay? So we'll do both sides on that. 10, down and up, 10 on the other side, 30 second flutter kick, and we're out of here, okay? Let's grind it out to the finish. So we're gonna start with our 30 seconds on our flutter kicks, okay? Here we go. Ready, set, go. Good, 30. So for me, I'm just counting to 30 seconds, all right? Now we're gonna do 10 up and down for our obliques, the side of our core, okay? Feet together here, driving through this hip, driving up through your feet, okay? Here we go, 10 each side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Good, nice and easy. Flip to the other side. <laughs> We're gonna do 10 on the other side. Here we go. Good, we got some people out here encouraging today. That's the whole purpose. We're in this together. All right, back on our back. 30 second flutter kicks. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Good, rest, take a little breather, 10 on each side.
take as much time as you need, guys. The goal is 30 minutes, maybe over a little bit, maybe under, depending on where you're at in your fitness journey. Okay, here we go. 10 each side. Good. Flop to the other side. 10 more. Very nice. Last one, guys. Finish strong. We're going in 10 seconds. Three, two, one, go. Good, rest. Last 10 each side, guys, and we're done. It's a good day today. And on each side. Here we go. Ready? Go. Last 10 here. Finish strong. <sighs> Completed. Good job, guys. Wonderful job. Again, I'm Andrew Robinson here on behalf of Peak Fitness, Waterfront Park. Keep things rolling, guys. We got to hang in there together. Thanks for your time.